At our best, we yeah. treat everyone the same. And so this idea that you can... We should. That should be the goal. Correct. That is. And that's our founding values, which yeah. come straight out of the Bible, are that everyone's equal, made equal mm. in the image of God. Mm -hmm. So we should treat everyone the same. And this idea that you can, you can bring an ancient hatred that's running rife in the Middle East, bring it onto the streets of Sydney and Melbourne and Brisbane, yeah. and drive the Jews out of the city centers because mm. you hate them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You just, it's just not Australian. We've, you know, they often, you hear this like, you know, immigrate third world people get third world problems. And like, this seems like that meme come to life to me. Like we've, we, I don't believe we should have bombed the shit out of the Middle East in the first place. I don't, in hindsight, I don't think it's good to cause, like we caused a mass refugee crisis. We've, we've seen an increase of Islamic immigration throughout the West. I don't think it has worked. Douglas Murray, who you might know, has yeah. written a book called The Strange Death of Europe, where mm. he unpacks the whole uh, European approach to immigration and um, failed immigration policy. Well, he <laughs> would say it hasn't been, it, it's not great. Yeah. yeah. So the problem is, you actually, your a culture needs a certain amount of homogeneity, agreed values, mm. like you actually need to, so Australia, immigration works when the immigrants arrive and essentially adopt the values of the host country, yeah. wherever they go. Now, yeah. and, and so the problem is when you have migrant groups come who, who, ha, who, who fundamentally disagree with core parts of the values of our culture. Mm. Uh, and in this instance, I would say jihadist Islam the, the, is fundamentally incompatible with Western culture and civilization. Absolutely. And I think we've been a little naive. Mark Leach, how are you going, mate? Oh, I'm very well, how are you? I am good. Awesome. You, we are here, Dusty Bogan, Bogan Christian Lobby. We're here at Church and State. <laughs> and uh, this man, I was, uh, you are, I reckon you're up the top bravery, brave Australians right now. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, brave, bra there's a fine line between bravery and stupidity, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> so so the, <laughs> the Muslims were doing this, uh, cr like, protest against Israel on Sydney, you know, Sydney Opera House, and they're like, it is kill the Jews, yeah, where yeah, are the yeah, Jews? Yeah. You rip out an Israeli flag and like, here I am, come get me. And they chase after Yeah, they after did you. try to get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, well, it was on October the 9th, right? So two days after the attacks of yeah. October 7th, the blood hadn't even dried on this, in southern Israel. They're still chasing terrorists around. The mm. IDF hasn't gone into Gaza. And I just, and, and I heard there was this protest going to happen. I phoned the police. The police said, mate, they, they didn't say mate. They said, don't come into the city. We cannot guarantee your safety. Mm. If you come in and you wave a flag or you do anything, we'll arrest you.